Alright, this is a quick video on how to set up a collision mesh. Right now I'm gonna stick to... In fact, I'm gonna make one straight from the beginning. This is what it should look like in the end. So let's go back to the start. Let's go in front mode. And when you open up Blender, you should always start with the cube. Hit a uh, tab. Not tab, sorry, go to objects. We're gonna set this as a solid wire. Stretch it out to however far you want. Let's add a object in here. Let's use the monkey. Now this box, the way it encases the monkey, that tells that this is the collision mesh. Well, you already know this. I just, uh, I'm so used to explaining things. I just automatically start explaining. So I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna left click over here, hit space, and add an empty. Hit space over here, add another empty. Hit space over here, add an empty. Hit space over here, add an empty. We can uh, go down and name these whatever we want. So let's name this. Shape. When I said when, um, name whatever we want, I was talking about the uh, the monkey in the middle. But let's name this one shape. We're gonna go down and name this one collision one. Enter. Then a second type of collision, line of sight collision. Put a one on that too. Oh, that's right. Uh. I already have, um, alright, get rid of these. Sorry, that's my second palette. Whenever you see a dot zero zero one, that means that that is a secondary object you've made. So, now we have that set on collision. We set the last one on detail. And detail 10, to, so that means after 10 pixels, it goes on to the next little LOD. And 10 pixels is very hard to uh, get rid of. So now we're going to jump into the, the um, I keep thinking box making, we're going to jump into collision mesh making. I uh, selected these boxes, I hit S to scale them out. Putting a box around an item is what you want to do. You want to make sure everything's covered, that's going to tell the computer, alright, well this is where the damage is being taken from. So we're going to take one of these. Hold shift and right click the collision node. Hit control P, make it apparent. To the other one, the other type of collision, control P, make that apparent. They're going to take the object and parent that to a detail. Then we're going to parent these nodes to shape. That is the mother of all uh, nodes. That's the first thing the engine looks for when exporting. So now you have it all set up to uh, work and everything. And that's how you pretty much make a collision mesh. Any other questions, I'll go into uh everything detail by detail and also just to warn you with the you uh, have a note here let me move this camera it's annoying scaling also scales the items inside so just something to watch out for in case you move a node with a G you rotate it with R or you scale it with S or you expand it with uh, the expand feature and that will be it